Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashanti. If you're new here, before we get started, you already know what I'm gonna say. You already know what I'm gonna do. Join the squad, join the family, okay? I'm sitting in a different spot in my house today just because I'm trying to switch up the environment, I guess. But as you can tell from the title of this video and the intro, we're gonna be doing four ways to style satin looks for plus sizes. So for this first outfit, I kept it really simple. The satin piece that is in this outfit is actually this um, bandana shirt from Shein. I'm trying to zip it up so that you guys can see. Now, the reason why it doesn't look how I styled it as a regular bandana is because I tucked the triangle piece portion in because I just didn't like the way that it fit. Um, if you buy this, you probably should order a size up. I ordered this in a 2X, which is my true size, but if I really wanna wear it like how it's meant to be worn, I should have gotten a 3X. But it's neither here nor there. I improvised and I just tucked it into my strapless bra and made it like this bandeau top. Um, it's got this real pretty shiny satin. It is one-sided fabric, so it's not it's not double lined at all. So it is pretty thin, so you will need a bra with it, especially if you are a larger chest. If you have a larger chest, but it does have a zip-up detail so that um, in the back. I hope you guys can see that. And then I paired that with these jeans from Forever 21. They're my favorite mom jeans from Forever 21. They are, last time I saw them on sale, they were like $8. So I will link them below. They're always on sale right now. So if you can, I would definitely get them. Um, order a size, order your true size or even a size down because these do run very big. I had originally bought a size 18 thinking that I needed to upsize them for them to fit like mom jeans. But once you wear them and wear them in, like they start to relax a lot. So if you want them to fit a little bit more snug with the mom cut, then order a size down. If you want them to fit like true mom jeans, a little loose, order your actual size because they do run pretty big. I got these in a size 16 um, and they have like this raw edge at the bottom which i love and so i just paired that with for shoes and purse for this outfit i chose to pair it with this um this little purse i got from ego shoes is where i got this from it's got a silver detail so it matches the zipper on the back of the shirt i just thought that it, it tied in with the burnt orange on the shirt and everything's got this croc detailing and then i just wore it with um these clear slides that are also from Shein. I got these in my um, my true size which is an 11. They they run true to size so make sure if you're gonna get these get your correct size. Okay outfit number two. Outfit number two I'm really feeling is giving real brunch at the Versace mansion. Okay that's what I'm feeling when I when I wear this. In the clips you'll see that I styled the, the top two ways. First is the pants though. These pants are actually from my archives in my closet. I got these maybe like two years ago for I think I bought these for like around the fall time for Christmas and I never wore them but they're these green satin pants. I want to say these are from, I don't know where these are from. I think these are from Boohoo but they don't have a Boohoo tag in them so I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure these are from Boohoo. If I can find where I got these from, I'm, I did another haul on them so if I, if I can find the link to where I got these from I will definitely share them but that's neither here nor there. There are these wide leg uh, satin trousers with a nice cinched waist. I decided to pair these with those flat sandals again. And then this beautiful satin shirt that I got from this black owned brand called Kai. I first saw this brand when um, 
Jackie Ina wore some pieces from them and I saw that they actually carry larger sizes so I definitely wanted to support them. I got this shirt in this color and I also got it a nice chocolate brown. This is the cream color and it can be worn all kind of ways. It has this beautiful like cowbell uh, detailing on the sleeve. I styled it the first way like as the pajama style like everybody wears but I also wanted to show you that you could this shirt is so big that you could actually tie it and so um, the outfit can be worn either way but I think I kind of prefer the pajama way it's just very loose and beachy and very like warm weather type vibes you know but it's definitely giving me brunch at the Versace mansion I paired this with a Marc Jacobs bag y'all don't get me to lie I don't know the name of this bag I actually got it from the Marc Jacobs outlet store but this was a gift from Jeff for about this is my Valentine's Day gift from my boyfriend and so this is what I paired it with it doesn't really go with the green but I just felt like you know with the gold detailing and just another color and another texture to add to the outfit but any small bag will do okay this next outfit is the first satin dress that I bought this year um it is this tie-dye yellow and pink situation from nasty gal um and it's very very flowy and that's why i like it it's a little short so i felt like um for this style i would wear a heel with it for maybe like dinner or like just like a little date night outfit i paired it with these these not too tall block heels from Steve Madden I got these in a size 11 these are the Lilas from Steve Madden and they are super 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 comfortable they if you don't if you can't wear a very high heel and you just want something enough to look like you have a nice size heel on I would definitely recommend this shoe I have this shoe in the clear and tan color and also in black and I love it um you can usually find a discount on a c madden so yeah this is the the shoe that i paired with it to go with the bright colors um i wanted to stay with the theme and i got i carried it with this pony hair brandon blackwood bag brandon blackwood is a hot black owned designer right now um next to telfar he's like right up there with telfar and everybody's been going crazy over this bag this cute how cute is this bag with this pony hair it is so 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 cute and i hope my lighting is doing it doing it justice but yeah i love this bag and i just thought it was so cute to like go on with like the bright pastel colors for spring and summer as you can see my nails are pretty bright too right now so yeah i i love this i thought this was just such a cute little outfit to wear on a date night you know just an idea <laughs> Okay, so for this last outfit, I was thinking, where, what would I wear to like maybe like one of those festivals or to a picnic or to, um, you know, just anything like like lunch at Pond City Market on the rooftop, any kind of like rooftop vibe, but you still want to be comfortable. So this last dress is actually also from Nasty Gal. It's a green satin dress, um, like a mint green satin dress. And I paired these with my Alexander McQueen oversized sneakers. If you don't have these sneakers, you don't have to spend a million dollars on these sneakers. Um, Steve Madden does have dupes for these sneakers, as well as um, the Stan Smith for from Adidas would look so cute with this outfit. And so would... Um, and so would a pair of Air Force Ones, but they just gotta be clean. You know what I mean? Like they gotta be real clean. The reason why I personally don't wear Air Force Ones, wouldn't wear Air Force Ones with this outfit for me is because the way that my feet look, I have larger feet. And so uh, the men's sizes, I think the Air Forces that I have are actually a men's Air Force and it's just a little bit, it just doesn't look flattering for me on my foot. But I felt like the Alexander McQueen, like the way it's shaped, it's just so, it's just so cute. It's definitely giving any kind of Adidas vibe. So if you have a pair of white Adidas, white shell toes, this would be really cute. This would be so cute with some white shell toes. I also paired this with my small cream Telfar bag. Oh, and to mention, just to mention, both of the sh pairs of shades that I'm wearing in this video are from Key. They're both, I think the aviators are the Desi High Keys and the other ones are another pair from Key. <laughs> I 
hope you guys found some inspiration in this video hopefully you got some outfit ideas or you needed to figure out where you could buy some satin pieces for larger sizes i will link all the items that i can find in the description box below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace